Um, and there have been mistakes made historically. The state tested wells in the Cotton Flat neighborhood in February 2006. And at that time, there was 2,600 parts on County Road 112. And you were not notified. Why not? That was, I don't know. There was an error. There was an error made. It's no longer rumored. I represented this morning. I had not seen the evidence. I have officially seen the evidence, and the mistake was made. There was 2,600 parts of Chrome 6 on County Road 112. So for three years now, the exposure has been ongoing. If there were 2,600 parts of Chrome 6 in February 2006 on County Road 12, I will submit to you, as there's 239 parts down on County Road 118, it didn't show up overnight. It crept up to 2,600 parts. So when it goes to the issue of water quality testing and the question of chrome, chrome, chrome analysis is fly, right? <laughs> um, The good news is, is when they test for chrome, they test for chrome 6 and chrome 3 because the tests that they run, if you just go in and say, I want a chrome test, they run total chrome. So they'll pick up all the species. That's a good thing. The bad thing is, what I've seen was they tested and the result said 2.62 milligrams per liter. And the state standard is 100 parts per billion. And they went, oh, 2.6 is less than 100. They were magnitudes off. And so it went, it went unexposed for an additional three years. So be very, very careful. Additional water quality testing is going to be done. We're going to do the $4,000 test on a couple of the wells in the neighborhood. The states actually started their increased analysis because they're trying to discover what's causing the breakthrough of the media. And the way that they're doing the discovery is by doing a, a better mass balance of the water. Something else is basically taking the place of the Chrome 6. They basically, they've told the, the, uh, the resin in those vessels, go out and get Chrome 6, suck up the Chrome 6. But there's other chemicals in your water that's going, me first, me first, and they're clogging it up and the Chrome 6 is breaking through. So the state's doing additional water quality testing. Um, I, I would tell you that the amount of time I've seen them in the field, the amount of laboratory analysis that they've done, and, and I know you're probably gonna go, oh, no, 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 no. But I will represent to you that the amount of work I've seen them do and the consultants that they've hired, the state of Texas has probably spent in excess of a million dollars on you guys already. Whether you're happy with the results or not, my mind is telling me they've probably exceeded a million dollars on your behalf. So they're doing what they're doing and what they're capable of doing as fast as they can do it. But we're here to help. And we're on your side. We're going to speed it up. And I think our involvement has helped. And I think our involvement has sped the process up. And we're not going to stop here. We are, we are going and going and going. And, uh, you know, we, we're working with the local council. Um, a local lawyer here in Texas who we, we like very much. Um, and, and we're really, we, you know, we've done a lot in three weeks, guys. A lot in three weeks. So, next question.
your call as a mother, I mean, I sat here today and as we did the water coming out of the wells and it splashed, I noticed numerous people would kind of jump back. Well, I might imagine how they feel. So it is concerning. I mean, we've seen different scenarios where the contamination, they just come out and buy the houses up. I mean, pg and is still doing that today. This original contamination in Yinkley hit in the 60s. It's 2009, and they're still out ahead of the flume buying up homes. They just bought up 12 last year. That may be a process that, that could happen here. We don't know yet. I don't think the state knows yet. And Sissy was talking with the state today. I mean, there's so many more homes now in this circumference that they're investigating. It'd be easy for me, you know, and I don't want to become jaded, to really get mad at state agencies, not only in the state of Texas, but everywhere. And they're oftentimes understaffed and underfunded, and they may not have the manpower. Now it's going to be up to us, all of us, to demand from your state and your agencies that they get more manpower, they find the funding, and get you some answers sooner than later so you can make and, you know, inform decisions about whether you want to bring your child back home. I've seen the filters. We've done testing. There is breakthrough. The filters are a very funny color. In a matter of two days, they're disgusting. So it's a legitimate concern. So I offer you, as a mother, no scientific information here, doctor's opinion. If you are concerned, we know that there's a poison in your water, and you're not certain it's safe for your child. And she's in a place where she can shower, and you're not concerned about it. I leave it that way until you have a solid answer regarding her safety. And I appreciate that, because I keep asking them, and I keep getting like uh, different runarounds, oh, it's in the mail, it's in the mail, my husband's calling, it's in the mail. Okay, that's been weeks now, and I've never seen anything. And my daughter, she's 15, and it's more money for my husband and myself because we've got to buy the food, the gas for, for my oldest daughter to take around, which is not a problem, but I want her home, you know? And it's just, it's hard, and I'm not getting an answer. So at least I'm not going crazy again. Can I floor, please? Sure. She's concerned about her 15-year-old daughter. She wants her home, but she hasn't got a confirmed answer from the state yet, okay now? About whether the water is breaking through or not breaking through or if it's safe. Um, so I was telling her, that until she has that, it would probably be best as a mother to a mother. If I had any concern, why take the chance? Well, that's what I was doing anyway, but it's kind of frustrating when we try to get some answers and we're not. Right. I mean, you keep telling us in the mail. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'll go out on a bit of a limb, and I'm, this isn't the only limb I'm going to go out on tonight. Um, this is probably an easy one. I didn't tell anybody to leave, and I'm not going to tell anybody to come back, but what I can tell you is um, I'm not confident in the filter systems today. Flat out. I discovered the first two breakthroughs. The state got on right away. They were very grateful that we got the information to them. They came out and investigated them. They were supposed to get those two filters changed. Um, one of them's being changed as we speak, and the other one hasn't shown up yet, but you know, she's basically posted somebody out there that hopefully they'll come and fix the other one. We found the first two, but since then there's been three more, or four more, because there's six. Um, there's a problem with the filtration systems. Until they get that under control, nothing's changed. So if she's gone, she should stay on. That's the limb I'll go out on. Until, until, until the state can convince me that they're safe, um, I'm not going to tell you anything's changed. The first thing I did when I called the two neighbors that had to break through immediately, they had to break through within a few days. And they weren't big users. You know, I've seen people that are big users that have lots of kids and water in their yard a lot. And I know why they broke through. That's hydraulics. But these people were, you know, one and two people in the house, and they had no reason for breakthrough. So it was something completely unusual. Um, the blue water. We've had a lot of discussion about the blue water. The one thing Danielle and I agree on, I thought it might have been, I've done more pilot testing on ion exchange resin than most, than, than most manufacturers. And not for chromium-6, but for other salts and other metals nitrate removal, 